and welcome back to ECTV. If like me, you fancied playing a bit of AMS2 recently because of all the extra content and stuff like that's been added, and it, to be honest with you, it's turned out to be a pretty good game. It's pretty entertaining. Um, you might find that if you've got a few different wheelbase types, namely Simucube, VRS, and a few others, that it's kind of difficult to get the game to actually pick up your wheelbase as a registered input. Now, Fanatec and, and Logitech and, and Thrustmaster and a few others all seem to be kind of be okay, but for whatever reason, when I got my new Simu Q2 Pro wheelbase, it wasn't having it, it wasn't registering it. And I looked around on forums, I'd got multiple of those, multiple websites and stuff like that to try and find a solution. And I found a solution, but it did take quite a lot of digging. So hopefully this video is really gonna help you out if you do, like me, wanna play a bit of AMS2. So hopefully this will help you out. I'll take you through the steps. I'll get to them as quickly as possible because it is actually really simple to do, but only if you know exactly what you're doing. So let's get straight into it. So as you'll see on screen, I'm in the AMS2 game. Now I've got my Simucube 2 Pro wheelbase turned on. Uh, make sure you do the same. Make sure obviously you have your uh, software for the uh, for the wheelbase open as well, because you will need access to that pretty quickly once we've taken a few steps in here. So I'll go into options and go to controls. Now by default, it'll be on your control, control scheme screen. What you need to do is make sure that your type set to wheel, your make and model are correct. Now, if you've got something listed in this list like Fanatec, Logitech, etc, etc. Choose the relevant one, choose the correct one for you. If you don't, you can choose custom, then you can either have combined pedal and wheel type or separate. I'd imagine if you've got, if you're having to select custom, you've probably got separate. For me, I've got VRS pedals and a SimuQ wheelbase. So I, I always choose separate, but if the make of your wheelbase isn't listed in here, then choose custom. But for me, mine is, so I'm going to use SimuQ and then I'm going to select the relevant model. From there, if you go into edit assignments, obviously you will see your steer left and steer right. Now, those are the inputs that you really need to worry about on your wheelbase, so that's, those are what the ones that we're gonna set. By default, if you go in and try and click to set the axis, it it's kind of 50-50 on if it will register it or not. For me, it flat out didn't. Some people on forums and stuff have had absolutely no problem. For me, it didn't. And like I said, it took quite a lot of digging to try and find a solution. Basically what it's looking for is, obviously it's looking for your steering left or right input, but what the game wants is for you to get to the full maximum lock and then back to center pretty quickly. I literally tried all sorts. I tried lowering the force feedback down to minimum. I was spinning it with one finger in one direction, then back to center as fast as I could. I just couldn't get it to register it. What I ended up doing was lowering the rotation of the wheelbase down to a point at which I could go to a lock angle, which was very, very close to center and back to center pretty quickly. So I'm gonna show you through that now. You will need access to the software for your wheelbase. So I'll bring that on screen now. So this is the Simucube software. I'm just gonna select my AMS profile. So that's done now. So that's the main one I'm selected on. And then I'm gonna go into edit it. Now, my rotation is currently set to 900 degrees. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lower that down because if I have 900 and I try and steer 900 degrees and then back to center really quickly, well, as quick as I can do it, especially if force feedback's enabled, you can even even if you turn it off, to be honest with you, you just can't get it to lock and back to center fast enough for the game to pick it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it to 120 degrees. Now, 120 degrees sounds really, really low. It is. I'm going to okay that. And then now if I that's the maximum lock range now for my wheelbase left and right and my bump my bump stop is actually quite quite firm so that means that i can't really go past it without really forcing it but look at how narrow my steering rotation is that's good that's what we want then if i get rid of that i'm now back in the game so what i'm going to do is I'm going to set my steer left and steer right axis as i say i'm going to go lock and back to center as fast as i can so if I go do that and ask it to set a new configuration, boom, just like that, it's picked it up straight away. I'll do the right axis the same, boom, picked it up straight away. If you have it on 900 or 1080 or anything like that, there's just no way you'll be able to rotate the wheel fast enough and get it back to center quick enough for the game to register the input. So just drop your wheel rotation down to 120 degrees, go lock back to center one way, lock back to center the other, that's it. Sorry to interrupt future Ellis here. One thing I've got to mention as part of that video is 
if for whatever reason it still isn't working, make sure that you've got your rotation lowered down, close out the game, relaunch the game, and then follow the rest of this video and it should work. For whatever reason, some people have found it that even doing the lower lowering the rotation, for whatever reason, the game still wasn't picking it up. It actually happened to me as well and I forgot to mention, but I closed out the game, relaunched the game, left my rotation where it was while closing out and relaunching. No problem, problem solved. It sounds really simple and it is if you know what you're doing. Hopefully that helps. If you've got any questions, drop me a comment down below. If this has helped you out and if you like my content generally, please drop me a like as well. It really helps the channel out. I'd really appreciate that. Any questions, let me know, but good luck. Hopefully it works and enjoy some AMS too.